Don't let your Cisco certification expire. Learn how to earn free CE credits and recertify your CCNA and CCNP without spending a dime in this step-by-step -step video. I will show you how I earn my required credits and how you can too. Hi and welcome to my channel. This is my CCNP status on official Certimetrics website. It is going to expire in June 2023. If I click here on view more button, there are requirements listed here which includes passing one or more Cisco exams, like this one. If I collapse these requirements, down here you can see there's also another requirement which I can complete and I have already completed 23 credits completely for free and you can see them listed over here. It says required 40 CE credits. Let's start getting you on free credits as well. So let's go to getting started PDF and see what's the process. The process is very simple. You just have to log into ce.cisco.com which is the CE portal. On your dashboard you will see your certification status and the items that you have completed. Then you go to item catalog which will list all the courses that are eligible for CE crits. Although all are not free but we will go through which are free ones. Then you complete the course and submit the items that you have completed within 90 days of completion. Once you have done that, you can go to your Certmetric website and check your credits, although it takes 5 to 6 days to show up in the Certimetrix account. So let's start by going to CE portal. You can also type ce.cisco.com and you have to log in with your Cisco account. Once you have logged into Continuing Education Program, on dashboard you will see your certification status. So here are my certification status, it will show the expiration date, days to expire, and the status of my certification. Down here, under my items, it will also show all the completed credits that I have with start date, completion date, and expiration date. All credits also have 3 years expiration date. On the top, you can click on item catalog, and this will show you all the courses that are eligible for CE credits, but they're not free. Clicking on view details will most likely take you to the website where you have to register for the course and pay for it. You can search for courses here or select item type, which means there are many type of courses that you can select from, like Cisco Live Training, DevNet. Over here we will select Cisco Direct Delivery and click on search. This will list all courses that are covered by Cisco Direct Delivery. Now again, these are not free courses. For example, the SD-WAN Mastery Collection mostly are free courses. And it also shows how many credits you will earn by these courses. So click on View Details. This is, this is the content provider of this course, which is a Cisco Digital Learning. If you click on View Details again, this will take you to a Cisco Digital Learning website. You also need to log in with the same account here as well. Once you have logged in, you can see all the courses provided by Cisco Digital Learning. These are not all free, but the sd Master Mastery Collections are mostly free. If you click on Home, you can look at the trending courses, which will mention if the course is free or not. So these are the courses you're not subscribed. This is a subscription-based website, but there are also some free courses. For example, this course has a free demo, which is what we are not interested at the moment. So this is a course that's completely free, the sd Master Mastery Collection Getting Started. If you look here, this is also free, Planning and Deploying SD Access Fundamentals, Getting Started with Cisco DNA, the sd Master Mastery Collection Deploying the Data Plane. So these are free courses. So if you look at the free courses, click on it, it will mention if this is an eligible course for CE credits. Click on CE credits and it will show you that by completing this course, you will earn 6 credits towards your recertification, which means this is the course you can start taking to earn your credits. Launch the course, click on welcome, and it will show you this is the first course in a series of courses that are named the sd wan Mastery Collection. And all of these courses are free. Getting started, deploying the data plan, developing the overlay topology, managing the application experience, and bringing up the control plan devices. These are all free courses, and upon completion of each course, you will earn either 6 or 5 credits. Once you have watched all the videos, you can start your final exam, which is a very easy exam. Now, I have already passed the exam. You only need to score 7 score. I have scored 10. You can retake the assessment as many times as you like. 
French certificate. This is your certificate identifier. Once you have completed the course and obtained the certificate, you come back to the CE portal under submit items. Now you have to submit that you have completed this course. Now to submit the item, you can you can look for this course over here. So this was a getting started course. Click on your course, click on Cisco Direct Delivery, Cisco Digital Learning. It was completed on January 9, so I don't have to submit it again because I've already submitted. So you check your completion dates, save the certification and upload it here and then provide the certificate ID, copy it from here. Check on this checkbox and submit the course. Once you have submitted it, it will immediately appear under my items, for example. Here is the course getting started for me that I have already completed and I have earned six credits. Similarly, you can earn more credits by completing other Mastery Collection courses. And then there are other free courses like the SD Access course and many more. Once you have completed those courses, you can go back to your Cert Metrics account by clicking here, logging into your account, and then you can check how many credits you have earned. Now, in my experience, once you have submitted your item, it immediately appears over here, but still, to appear under certain metrics and your certification status, it takes at least five days to appear over here, so you have to be patient with that. You don't have to do anything for these queries to appear over here, but it takes at least five days to appear over here. Once you have completed the required CE credits, it will automatically recertify your expiration date and extend it for next three years and your completed C credits will go away because they have now been reapplied to complete your recertification. So how many credits are there for free available on Cisco Digital Learning and how many do you need to recertify your CCNA and CCNP? It's very simple. For CCNA, you need 30 credits and for CCNP, one specialist course, either Enterprise Core or any other specialization, you need 40 credits. And you can complete those very easily with free credits from Cisco Digital Learning. I have identified all the free courses I could find. So by completing all the SD-WAN Mastery Collection courses that I just showed you, you would have completed 25 credits already. Now you can start on preparing the Identity Services Engine, which is a free course with four credits, and then complete the Planning and Deploying SD Access Fundamentals, which is 12 credits, that makes it 16 credits. Added to 25, you have already crossed 40 credits, which means you have already certified or recertified your CCNA and one CCNP specialty course as well. But that's not all. You still have more free courses available, and I will list them under the video description. It includes securing branch internet and cloud access, Cisco DNS Center Fast Start Use, which also has free CE credits. Five more, and there are more free courses. Keep an eye on this website. They always introduce more free courses, but you have to be fast to complete them because some courses are scheduled to be removed. For example, the sd -WAN Mastery course, it's 25 credits laying over there, completely for free, but it's being expired. This course will be retired on 28th February, so you have to complete it fast. Even if you don't, you need not to worry because there will be more free courses or updated courses for SD-1 Mastery Collection that will be released on this website. So, if these queries are not enough for you to complete your recertification for whatever reason is, although this should be enough to complete your CCNA and CCNP certification, but if you need more credits, there are other ways to complete them as well. Go to item catalogs and select item type, and you can see there is a networking academy training as well. Click on Network Academy Training, search for courses, and it will show you that you can also earn 40 grades for completing CCNP Enterprise Advanced Routing, 64 grades for CCNP Enterprise Core Networking, and for CyberOps Associate, you can earn 30 grades. These are the courses that you need to complete for Networking Academy. So if you go to View Details, it will take you to NetAcad website. And for those who don't know, I am a NetAcad CCNA and CCNP instructor, and I can create those courses for you. It will cost you very minimal fee, and you can earn up to 64 credits very easily. For more information, you can always contact me using my channel. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked the video and it would benefit you.